Arduino, born in 2005 in Ivrea, Italy. Out of the mind of five engineers who wanted to make interacting with sensors easier for the general public. They didn't develop this idea from scratch. They forked some pre-existing projects such as processing and wiring. But that's a story for another time. The general idea was to make a microcontroller interact with the outside world as simple as these famous eight lines of code. The first prototype of an Arduino was a crude board of just a microcontroller, its crystal oscillator and a voltage regulator. The programming was sent through a pinned-out DB9 connector. It didn't have any overcurrent protection nor early polarity protection. Arduino went through a few more iterations in 2005. One of the last prototypes was this one, much closer to the Arduino we know and love. Notice how it used a DB9 connector for its serial communications. The first real commercial Arduino would take out the archaic DB9 connector and substitute it for a much easier to use USB Type B. At the end of 2005, the first 200 units were manufactured and shipped to some universities. And the project started gaining some worldwide notoriety. In mid 2013, they estimated around 700,000 Arduinos had been sold. Now, in 2022, the 10th million Arduino has been sold, and to commemorate it, this Arduino Uno Mini Limited Edition has been launched. The first thing you will notice about the Arduino Uno Limited Edition are its gold core contacts. These are Enig Electroless Nickel Immersion Gold contacts, as opposed to the silvery ones usually found in the normal Arduinos. These silvery contacts are usually made by either a process called wave solder or Hassel, hot air surface leveling. Needless to say, the Enig finish is a much more expensive process, but offers a more even surface, which will make placing components during the assembly easier than placing them on a Hassel surface. Now, the brains of the Arduino, the Atmel 32-8P on a VQFN package, that is, a very thin quad-flat knowledge package. Just opposite of the My Microcontroller we find the USB to DTL converter. Oddly enough, it is the same Atmega 16U2 chip as in the Arduino Uno. You can find its external oscillator right next to it. Here is the input voltage regulator. This time we don't have the legendary AMS117. Now it's using a smaller monolith systems voltage regulator. Still, the recommended input voltage is 16 to 12 volts. Although now you will have to solder into these connections, since there is no available barrel jack. Let's not forget the ICSP. In chip serial programmer, which are these small exposed copper pads prepared for a pogo pin connector. And finally, the reason why I like this Arduino so much the USB Type C. For way too long, we have endured the pain of using a USB Type A, Type B, Micro B, Mini B. Now, in 2023, we can finally plug in the USB, the wire we have having to look. And now, the part we were all waiting for, the unboxing of this 50 euro Arduino. We can see its special packaging in this nice little black box. Let's take it out from here. And let's open up this box. Here is my special serial number, just for me, M577, signed by all of these people. And here's the jewel. 
the Arduino Uno Limited Edition. Let's take it out. It's being held by the USB-C with this little piece of paper, but uh, I just did it. It's protected by these small plastic uh, thingies and there's nothing else in the box, just this. You can see how small it is compared to my hand. And the first thing you notice is the USB-C and the inning finish. Let's compare it to a normal Arduino and you can see the size difference. The shape is still the same but it's around uh, I would say half the size or one quarter the area. But enough with the unboxing, let's try it out. I'm using the Arduino IDE 2.0 and I just connected my Arduino. No problems with the drivers, it recognized it instantly. And let's upload this easy blinky example. Let's click upload, wait for a bit, and it's working here. And now the real question, should you get it? There's limited units of it, so should you hurry up? And it's 48 euros, not including shipping. Well, in my case, I wanted to give back to the Arduino Foundation, which has given me so much after so many years learning from them. I mean, back in my university days, I'd say I learned much more from the Arduino community than from my classes. So, of course, I, I saw the opportunity to buy this limited edition Arduino at uh, which I know is a bit of an expensive price, but I think it's a nice way to give back to the Arduino Foundation. And what about you? Do you think it's worth it to give back to the Arduino community or is it just way too expensive? So tell me what you guys think and I'll see you on the next video.